bringing you guys along with me today to do a little bit of thrifting. This is going to be a short thrifting video and then I'll show you all of my purchases. I did look at the jewelry counter. They did not have a good selection. I found maybe three pieces today. I'm also looking for items to resell on eBay. So we'll be looking at clothing and I always like to look at the household type items. One thing I am seeing here at this thrift store is they've really gone up in price, especially on their household items. Take this basket, for example. I thought it was a great looking basket. It would have looked great on my coffee table, but when I picked this up and looked at the price, it was $8. The candlestick holders are pretty nice, a dollar a piece, not bad. This is nice, it's not very large, but when I flipped it over, the price was $4, so I'm gonna skip on that. This is a cute little item for Easter, but nothing I need. I love the owl, but they also have a hefty price on it, $10. I think I'll leave that behind also. Now on to the clothing items. I've already picked out a few items. I really like this coat. I'm going to skip on it. I try to avoid buying items that are heavy because of shipping costs. This is a really nice sweater, and I love this blazer. This would look good with jeans, a skirt, just about anything. We're back home, and I am going to start off by showing you the jewelry that I found today. Not a good selection. Usually they have more than this, but a lot of what they had wasn't anything I was interested in. I did find these three pieces and I'll show them to you starting with this one. This is an inexpensive fashion piece, but the reason I picked it up is I really liked the design of it. This is designed similar to a lot of vintage pieces. It is a bolero style necklace. It has tassels on the bottom. And the reason I picked this up is I think this is a great layering piece. I like layering new with old costume with fine jewelry. I just like to mix up the different looks. So I thought, why not pick this up? This is a great layering piece. I may keep it. I may list it on eBay. I'm not sure yet. Either way, out of all the items that they had, again, there wasn't too many great items to choose from today. Here's a look at this one on the form. I really like this kind of necklace because it's so easy to wear. You can drape it around your neck, kind of like you would a scarf, or you can put it around your neck and fold one end over the other. And this type of necklace can be worn alone or you could always layer it with other pieces. Another fashion piece that I picked up is this one. This looks like an Anne Klein necklace to me. I did look it over. I don't see any markings anywhere on it. I do like the lion's head with the rhinestones around it. It's a pretty gold tone necklace. And this is also a great fashion piece or layering piece. Again, double checking, no markings on it. So I can't really say for sure that this is Anne Klein. It may be something trying to copy Anne Klein's style. Either way, I liked it, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Here is a look at this one on the form. This would look really good layered with some gold chains or maybe even layered with some Aurora Borealis or some clear Lucite. So not a bad find. I really like this little fashion piece. I did manage to find one piece of vintage jewelry today, and that's this one. This really caught my eye. I love the design of this. It is all glass beads. We have faux glass pearls, both large and small, and then some small black glass beads. I like the combination of the off-white and the black. This one has a barrel closure. I don't see any markings on it. And then the pendant that you see here is pressed glass. And I like the way the pendant's been done. It's got that look in the middle of it that goes with the color of the pearls. So I thought this was a really pretty vintage piece and decided to go ahead and pick it up also. Here's a look at this one on the form. 
This would look really good layered. This could be layered with some black glass beads. I know I have a couple of pairs that would look really great with this necklace or with some pearls. This is a strand of faux glass pearls. They are vintage. So imagine how beautiful this would look with a couple of strands of pearls. So I think this was a really good find and I think this is a great layering piece. I did find quite a bit of clothing today to list in my eBay store. I've mentioned before that the larger sizes sell very well for me on eBay. So anytime I run across a larger size that I think is really pretty, I go ahead and pick it up. This is a New Directions blouse and it is a 2X. I really love the color and the design of this blouse. It also has three quarter sleeves which sell rather well for me and these have the rolled tab detail. Another 2X that I picked up today, this is a Karen Scott. It, this is more of a t-shirt than it would be a blouse. It's short sleeve and spring and summertime is just around the corner so I thought this would be a great item. I liked the color and even though this is more of a t-shirt type top, it does have the button in the front. These are just for decoration, but it gives it a little bit more of a dressier look. Today was my lucky day to find two X's. This is another two X. This is a pullover. It's a striped and it does have the three quarter length sleeve. So this could be worn spring, summer, or fall. This is a Chaps brand, Ralph Lauren, and I love the eyelet lace detail. Once again, another size 2X. This is Kim Rogers Curvy brand, and I really liked the color combination and the paisley print on this top. This one also has the three-quarter sleeves, so another great top to wear spring, summer, or fall. This is also Kim Rogers Curvy brand. It is a size 2X, and I'm starting to wonder if maybe someone did a closet clean out. I also like the pattern and design on this one, and it does have the three-quarter length sleeves, so it would be great for just about any time of the year. This top is a 1X, and I like the print on this. I like the black and white and the floral print. This would look really pretty for warmer weather. This one is Casey and Key. It has a V-neck. It's very lightweight, so this would be something that you could keep really cool in during the summer. The fabric is not transparent, but it is thin. It also has the three-quarter length sleeves. Not sure if my camera is going to pick it up, but this one also has tiny rhinestones set in it, just sparsely around the neck. I don't usually pick up men's clothing. Now, I have sold a few men's items in my eBay store, but for the most part, I just stick to the women's clothing. But this sweater was too nice to pass up. It has the suede elbow patches on it, and it also has suede detail at the neck. This is a Chaps by Ralph Lauren sweater, and it is an extra large. And anybody could wear this, a man or a woman. I liked the look of it, I liked the color, and this sweater looks as though it's never been worn. I did pick up a couple of pairs of shoes and I was excited about these until I got them home and noticed in better light that they do have some staining on them. These are Antonio Bossi. They are real leather, made in Italy. And they're really nice shoes. They look as though they've hardly been worn. These are a size nine, and I did look these up just to get some comps on them, and they do sell for a decent price. So I'd really like to list these depending on whether or not I can get them clean. If I can't get them clean and I list them as they are, I'm not gonna get that good of a price for them. I'm positive of that. So if you guys have any tips on how to clean these leather shoes, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm willing to give it a try. Another pair of shoes that I picked up are these. These are Bob's for Skechers. They are a size 10, and these are in very nice condition. They do need to be cleaned up. I'll just probably wipe these down with a damp washcloth. 
The bottoms look good, as do the insides. They do have the memory foam, and they're a wide. So I think that these will probably sell well for me. I have sold Skechers and Bob's on my eBay store before. They have been worn, you can tell by the bottoms, but they're still in excellent condition. Now for the decor items that I picked up today. They had three of these candle holders. They were a dollar each, which I did not consider to be a bad price. These look as though they've never been used. They still have these stickers on the bottom of them with barcode. I picked these up because I am considering using these on my dining room table. I'm not sure if I will use them or not. If I don't, I will probably put them in my eBay store so that someone else can enjoy them. Another item that I picked up was this, and when I first looked at this, my mind was boggled. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought, wow, is that a napkin holder? And if it is, it's a really wide one. But no, you know what this is, guys? This is to set a candle in, and I think this would look really great at Christmas time sitting out or at any time, really, because I love the way it looks on the outside. I'm going to place a candle in it and show you guys how it looks. So I think I would need a taller candle for this, but I may just keep this and use it during Christmas time to decorate with. I did find an item that I've been on the lookout for. I've been on the lookout for this type of item for a room that I plan to eventually redo. I've found some smaller ones, but this is larger. This is more of a medium size. It does need to be cleaned up on the inside, but once I saw this, it was a great price, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up also. So even though I didn't find a lot of jewelry items today, I feel like I found a lot of great items to list in my eBay store along with some decor items. You guys, let me know in the comments out of all of the items, which were your favorites? Which was your favorite piece of jewelry, your favorite decor item, and of course, which item of clothing did you think was the best one? I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to share these items with me. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on more content about collecting vintage and antique items. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.